What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general readings for somebody. So let's see who's going to get this reading. Gemini. What's up Gem? Thank you so much for being here. This message could resonate with you if you have Gemini as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. The energies might be reversed for you, so take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Oh, Gemini, you want to talk to you already? You got so much. All right, this is um, a side message here. You have the Nine of Ariel, the Chariot, and the Page of Michael here. Um, whatever this new thing is that's in your life, Gemini, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I don't know if you're doubting it. Something that you could have went forward, that you could have went forward with or that you went towards with something here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is good. This is this could be school for some of you or um, wanting to expand somewhere. It's, it's a good idea, okay? All right. Gemini. Let's see what's going on. Gemini. bottom of the deck is the page of Raphael here okay so I definitely see a new creative endeavor like something that like a new passionate thing at the bottom of the deck here it could, it could be a new adventure for you or a new opportunity I feel like this is going to bring you a lot of peace here and it's going to mentally um get you out of a space where you feel like you were stuck whoo you're going to be very successful here after a period of time of you feeling alone or feeling like you don't have enough. Wow, that's beautiful. All right. So what you have here is the Empress. OK, so. Um, da, 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 da. I'm OK. The thing is that I take this card as love, too, but I think there's something that you're open to or that you should be open to. Um, definitely something creative here. This definitely has to do with something could be school too. Remember that wasn't the, that wasn't the first message here, but I feel like, um, you're about to get some, uh, you're about to do something that's going to open you up to some abundant resources here. Maybe you haven't, um, secured the bag or something. Maybe you haven't like, Ooh, sorry. Maybe you haven't made like a final decision. You're thinking about it. What is the Empress here? You have the Tower in reverse, the Justice, and the Three of Swords in reverse with the Five of Wands. You're getting a lot of backlash for some reason for whatever this is that you want to do. I feel like um, I feel this backlash isn't helping the fact that you kind of don't want... It's like there's a fear of change here. There's a fear of you um entering into this into this whatever this new creative thing is and i feel like with the empress it's very abundant and either love in creativity and resources and luxuriness whatever it is for each of you is going to be different but it's very abundant here and i feel like it's going to be a fair situation i don't feel like you're going to get hurt with the three of swords in reverse i feel like in reality, it's actually going to heal you in a way that you never thought before. But I do feel there's a lot of conflict, like I said, but the universe wants you to choose you. Okay. Yeah, some of you guys could have isolated yourself from people because you're trying to decide the situation. I feel like this could have to do something with your money as well. But um, I feel like whatever this is, it might either add more stuff to the plate or it might switch things around and that is what you kind of aren't looking forward to okay but it is good it is good so <sighs> that's what i'm gonna say to you okay you have free will you choose what you want all right next card you have is two of Raphael here so there's they're talking about a love situation here um Let's see what they got to say about this. Where's this tool, Raphael? I feel like you and this person, if it's a question if this person loves you or has feelings for you, they do. I do see that. Okay. What is tool, Raphael? 
You have the Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Ten of Wands in reverse with the Two of Pentacles in reverse here. Some of you guys could be um, a father figure or just somebody who works really hard. Um, this relationship with this person, I feel like um, this energy is very nurturing. I feel like this energy is very uh, welcoming. You know, I feel like very, I feel like the energy, it's like the, it's like a big teddy bear energy I feel from this person, like very canoodling very you're safe with me type of feel um but i feel like you guys could be taking a break or need to take a break because i feel like it's like somebody's trying to put their foot down and it's causing issues i don't know if it's you or the other person but it's like somebody wants their respect and somebody's doing this because they're they're listening to their intuition there's a they they have like this this inner voice that is telling them this here and i and i feel like when it comes to this relationship gemini i feel like you're you're having to come to the decision where you're having to make a judgment call because i feel like you have overcommitted yourself to this i feel like it's becoming too much to handle um could be with a sagittarius an Aries, a Capricorn, another Capricorn, or a Pisces. Um, I feel like the only way to get out of your head and bring balance is, into the situation is either take a break from this energy or release it. I would release it, you know. Um, but the first thing I got with the, two, with the Ten of Wands in reverse was to take a break. So that's what I'm going to say. Okay. Next card you have is the Four of Michael here. So... You're, I feel like the Four of Michael is here because you're overthinking the situation or, um, you know, I feel like some of you guys need some more sleep. Some of you guys could be really stressed out mentally here, physically. What is this Four of Michael? Whew, Gemini. This reading took a turn, didn't it? Wow. All right, Gemini. So, um, you have the Ace of Wands, the Magician with the Seven of Cups to clarify the Four of Michael. So, I feel like the universe is telling you that they want you to relax. I feel like you're being pushed to chill out, to take a break, like relax, woo sa, because I feel like there's a new project or a new inspiration or something new, a new opportunity that you're manifesting, that you're asking the universe, your God, your angels, whoever you believe in. <clears throat> and it's about to come, Gemini. But the issue is that it might not even be an issue, but it's like they're going to give you a lot. You're going to have a lot of options, a lot of choices, and they want you like clear and cognate to be able to choose the right one. They don't want your judgment to be clouded because of stress or because of, uh, you know, you haven't gotten enough sleep. So if you can make some adjustments, I would, you know, I actually um, started sleeping trying to push myself to sleep earlier. So I started cooking dinner earlier so I could sleep earlier. Um, so, you know, that's something I've been forcing myself to do. And, and, it, and I had to switch all my, you know, my activities around. But, you know, some days I don't do it, which is fine. But I am trying to maintain myself because I see that there's something here that you need to release. Okay, Gemini and... Um, there's a lot of delays on this coming in that you've been asking the universe for because you got to release a certain mindset here, a certain thought process, something that you feel like you need to that you need to be with. I, I feel like it's just the the mindset that needs to change. You don't need to be with anything. Don't ever tell yourself, oh, I need to stay here because I'm married. Oh, I need to stay because this is a job that's paying the bills. Oh, I need to stay here because me and this person have a have a, an apartment together. Me, I, I, we have to. No, anything materialistically should not be a, an excuse as to why you stay somewhere. OK, because anything materialistically, I can take my torch and burn it. And then what? You know what I'm saying? The money, the whatever I, it's. Anything that is tangible, it should, our mind automatically wants to stress about it because it's something physical. It's something that it sees, it could see it. But 
we have to try, Gemini, to make decisions based off of things that, that you can't touch with your hands, that you can't see, right? Emotions, feelings, um, that type of energy, okay? I don't want you suffering in silence here. Um, I do see something new sparking up for you. I really, really do. And for a lot of you, this is going to make you look at everything around you completely different. Because I just feel like some of you guys are in a place in your life where you kind of feel like nothing is happening. This is like Seven of Pentacles in reverse. It's a lack of progress in it. You've reached as far as you can go. And yeah, you're right. But with this Ace of um, Wands here, you have to remember, in order for anything new to begin, you, you're going to have, you have to release something. And I think for a lot of you, it's a mindset that you have to, that, you know, it's not, you don't need anything. You don't need to be with anything. And I feel like this new thing is going to make you realize that. Okay. All right. So let's ask some advice for you. Gemini. Gemini. What's the advice for this Empress here? You have waxing crescent moon. Okay. So they keep planning. Keep planning. Keep having those goals here. It's gonna work out for you. It's a good time to work on your on things like your self-confidence, compassion, and self-assurance. Build yourself up and really put plans into place to reach your goals. Yeah. If you have to start with loving yourself first, giving yourself positive affirmations every day in order to pump yourself up to take this opportunity or to for you to stick with something, do it. Do it. We all have to start somewhere, right, Jen? All right. What is this tool, Raphael, here, Spirit, for Gemini? You have root power, Leo energy here. All right. Your root power comes from perseverance and action. You can become famous and respected in your circles if you maintain a steady and focused creative force with ultimate goal. Um, I feel like you and this you and this connection. This person could be a Leo. Doesn't have to be, but I feel like. Um, this connection is something that is how can how can i put this in um how can i put this it's very hard for this to transform gemini and i'm gonna be honest with the fixed here I just feel like this, like, I'm literally taking it as what it is. Like, it's fixed. It's in there. It won't be able to change. It's not going to be able to adjust. So either you remove yourself or you stay feeling like it's you're overcommitting yourself to a situation. It's really up to you. What is this for of Michael here? modality and cardinal here okay aries cancer libra scorp well i want to, i said scorpio but it was meant to say capricorn so you could have that in your chart any of those action dynamic and new intuitive great force cardinal mobility marks the beginning of the season and the power of intuition like i said once this comes in this is just clarifying what i said once this comes in it's like you're automatically going to be pushed in a direction that everything around you is going to start changing gemini and don't allow this change to happen 1414 14 on the timer when i said that allow this change to come in don't feel like oh am i am i doing like don't start second guessing yourself you know what i'm saying okay all right gemini that's all that i have for you i hope this helped have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive